Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to explain what Aperture is and show you how it affects your photography. I'm Jana Garcia Trujillo from VioQueensProductions.com. I am a portrait and family photographer and in this channel I teach beginners the basics of photography and all the tips and tricks to improve your photography skills. So if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified when I post a new video every Wednesday. Aperture, also known as iris and f-stop, affects your depth of field. In other words, it affects what stays in focus and what's blurry. If you watched my previous videos, you've known that I love having a nice shallow depth of field in my photographs. It's my style. I love it. But it did take me some time to nail it down, which is why I'm making this video, to show you how I learned it. But before we get into how, it, how aperture affects your photography and how to use it, first let me explain what aperture is. Aperture or iris and f-stop is the measurement used for the size of the lens opening. Basically, it controls the amount of light that passes through the lens. Think of it like the pupil of your eye. When it's bright outside, your pupil closes, meaning it's trying to limit the amount of light that goes through. When it's dark outside, your, your pupil opens up, trying to let more light in. And that's what aperture is. If you understood that, comment got it in the comments below. So where can you find the aperture setting in your camera? Well, I'm going to show you using my Canon Rebel T3i. Alright, so we're looking at the LCD screen from my camera. You can find the aperture right here. Notice the F, it stands for f-stop. Another way that you can find it is on the live view. So in order to access the live view, you just click this button right here. It's the record button and the aperture is right here at the bottom. The other two settings you see on the screen is the shutter speed and the ISO, which I will explain in my next two videos. So stay tuned for that. How do you change the aperture in your camera? So on the Canon Rebel, you push this button here, the IV stands for aperture. And then you turn the dial up here. It's above your shutter speed. So you see. So notice how the aperture is closing and the number is getting bigger and your image gets a bit darker. Now if I open up the aperture again, the number gets smaller and the more light comes in because your image is getting brighter. I know that's kind of confusing but you'll get the hang of it. All it takes is practice. Every lens has a limit on how big and how small the aperture can get. The way that you know the limit is by looking at the specifications of the lens. So for example, on a kit lens, on a kit lens, the 18 to 55 millimeter, the specifications are right here. So notice how it has a 3.5 to a 5.6. That means that when you zoom in and you zoom out, the aperture will change. Let me show you. Okay, so right now I have my kit lenses, the 18 to 55 millimeter attached to my Canon Rebel T3i. With the focal length at 18 millimeter, I have my aperture wide open, the widest it can get. So it's at 3.5. Now if I zoom in all the way to 55 millimeter, you'll notice that the aperture will automatically change. And my image gets darker. So that's what I mean about the kit lenses. This is one of the cons for the kit lenses. And if you notice, it doesn't give you the nice shallow tip of field that a 50 millimeter would, a 50 millimeter would get you. But there are really good lenses to start off with. Watch my video, why kit lenses are the best starter lenses for beginners, and you'll learn why. If you wanna practice photography and get that nice shallow tip of field in your photographs, I recommend getting a 50 millimeter lens. I actually have one and the specifications for the aperture, it can open up to a 1.8. This means that you'll be able to get a nice shallow depth of field in your photographs. How does aperture affect your photography? To better demonstrate this, we're gonna go outside. Okay, so now we're outside and I have my Canon Rebel T3i on my tripod and I have the 50 millimeter attached to my camera. This lens will better demonstrate how aperture can affect your photography. Right, so as you can see right now, the bush is in focus and the tree in the back is blurry. But it makes the bush pop out. Your attention goes directly towards the bush. So I'm going to take a picture. So now I'm going to focus on the tree in the back. As you can see the trees in focus now but the bush is blurry 
there was a person standing right there in the middle, it will, it will create that depth of field, hence the name, depth of field, to your photograph. It will just be more creative and appealing to the eye, in my opinion. So here they are, side by side. The one when the flowers are in focus and then the one with the tree is in focus. Which one do you like better? Let me know in the comments below. That's it. That is why aperture is really important and is one of the three basic camera settings you need to practice. And if you have any other questions about aperture, leave them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, let me know by giving it a big thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe for weekly videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Wednesday.